what's going on guys a well rested gomer is sitting before you and i had the answer to everybody's question i constantly getting brigaded by it in stream gomer what exactly do i do first this is what you do first ball player this is the best thing that you should be doing right now because it gets you a kick-ass player for your diamond dynasty team it's going to get you a ton of stubs, and it's going to get you a ton of XP. We're going to go over the best way to build your ball player to make him absolutely overpowered to ensure you're going to get multiple messages from people who are not very happy and are going to tell you to go touch some grass. So as always, make sure to leave a like down below. If you guys do enjoy, subscribe to the channel. Let's try and hit 70,000 within the next couple of days, and subscribe on Twitch. And follow on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Legend. We're going to be going live a little bit later today. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Your ball player, how exactly do you start? You go ahead, manage, you create a ball player. And this year it works a bit different, again, because you can make up to 10. And how this is going to work... I have two different ball players here, right? I have Big Gomer and Joe Random. So, Joe Random and Big Gomer can have the same archetype and uh, perks that I've grinded for, but Joe Random has attribute upgrades that I've gotten throughout playing Road to the Show. Again, Road to the Show is the only game mode that gets you upgrades in that regard. So we're gonna go over here and talk about what to do. What position, what archetype should you make? Uh, we're just gonna start here, and uh, let's do it. God damn it. So pitcher to a player, position player. This is completely up to you. If you want a pitcher, if you want a position player, or if you want to do both, I recommend picking one or the other. I think you have to choose based on your loadouts um, for Diamond Dynasty when you're actually using your ball player. For the sake of this video, we're just going to use a position player, and you can choose contact, power, or fielding. I'll be honest, I think contact is the way to go here over power. For a few reasons, contact in the long scheme is more important than power. You can definitely get away with using the Joey Gallas who have about as much contact as me with grass within the last 24 hours. Um, but he has a ton of power, so it doesn't fucking matter. So, contact or power, fielding completely disregard. Love you, Arenado, but sorry, you're, you're not the choice right there. So we're going to pick contact. This is a question I've been getting a lot. Your ball player is locked to that position, so I pick shortstop. It'll say out of position, but as you see, that's really not a big hit. Well, actually, Gomer's big ass is in the way. Now you can see a little bit better. 51, that's a drop of 6 on attributes and five on reaction. That's not bad. If I move him over to third, 48 fielding. So again, that's only a drop of nine. Even at center field, that's just 45. The only thing is catcher. If you want a catcher, make a catcher. You're not gonna be able to put him over there. So that is what you should keep in mind for this. If you are wanting to do a different position, you can do it. You're just gonna get a slight hit at those defensive attributes, but I think it's going to be no issue for you. So again, we're just gonna trace our steps back, your contact, do whatever you want. As far as positions, catcher is good. There's Joe Maurer right now, who's very good, but he's very expensive. There's Mike Napoli, there's Gary Sanchez, for, for the Yankees and the Rangers catching for the Yankees and Rangers collection, respectively. There's the Adley Rutschman for collecting 25 prospects. Catcher, shortstop, second or third base. If you're doing outfield, I just don't really see the purpose. There's so many great outfielders. Like, think about the face of the franchise. There's Cedric Mullins, Buxton, Robert, Trout, Acuna. That's already five. If you didn't realize, there's only three outfield spots. This isn't Little League or this isn't Joe Madden's sandbox anymore. Shift is banned next year, so get used to it. So I would recommend something like shortstop, um, catcher, second base. That's probably what I would prioritize around. We'll pick second base right here. And that contact is just going to get you started here. Looks not quite like me, but okay. Uh, so a second Joe Random. And again, you made your player. And you can make 10 of these if you want. You can employ some slimy tactics to get your overall 
up in Road to the Show, which we're going to go over. But I do want to talk about this really quick. So you're going to start out with Sparking Slugger, Speedy Slugger, Slick Slugger for the Power Archetype if you choose that first. So I went with the uh, Sparking Slugger at the bronze tier and again you're gonna see this reward path you're gonna get up to the silver archetype and from there you have your first real choice I highly recommend you pick the speedy slugger the reason for that being is because power is pretty easy to come by if you look at equipment the free bat that you get the Shohei Otani collector's edition that's eight power and eight contact you need to get your speed up. I will never get over the comment of somebody saying speed does not matter. Do you want Lizzo in your outfield, man? I, I didn't think so. You probably want somebody above 14 fielding who can go track down a fly ball. So I highly recommend you get some speed, you get some damn cardio in, and your player's going to be all the better for it. So that's a big thing. Again, equipment, you're going to earn it passively throughout this program. Some really good equipment items is going to cost you a fair chunk of change, so keep that in mind. But the Speedy Slugger is going to increase power, arm, and speed. I think speed's important. Contact is the big thing. If I chose contact from the get-go, I would have a bit more contact than I would power right now, and that's fine. We actually do have our gold archetype right here that we're about to crack open and see where you guys should go from there. But again, fielding, don't... Don't care about fielding too much right now, I'm going to say. You're going to have plenty of opportunities for that in the future. So we have all three of our gold archetypes right there. Stick with me. We're going to get to very good XP and very good progression in ball player in just a minute. I just want to explain uh, how exactly you should go about this process. So last year, it's the same shit. You have the Duke, the Anomaly, and the Showboat. So this one, Power, Arm, and Contact. This is power, arm, and speed. This is power, arm, and fielding. So the showboat, I don't know why it's called the showboat. Who's exactly, are the girls, what do they say? Chicks dig the long ball. They don't say chicks dig the diving catch or the backhanded stop. That's, that's not a thing. I'm sorry, uh, Andrelton Simmons. I, I don't think that's going to get you any luck at the bar. But uh, the anomaly and then the duke. These are what you're looking for. And these, in between these two, they're both pretty good options. You get the speed here, or you get the contact. I think I'm going to go with the Duke, just to have a very well-rounded hitter. And then I'm going to get more of these perks here, and I'm going to prioritize speed. Because that is super important, as we talked about. And uh, it's going to take some time. I don't need to have 90 speed on this ball player. I need him to be good at hitting the ball. What good... <clears throat> Jesus, it sounded like Vince McMahon for a second there. I promise you, none of y'all are getting fired. Um, but what good is speed if you can't hit the ball out of the infield, right? So that's also pretty uh, pretty important. So the Duke is the next one that we're going to have here. How do you get progress? Let's talk about that. Simply, plate appearances, hits, extra base hits, extra base hits again. These are repeatable missions. You're going to earn them throughout Road to the Show. And you're going to get diamond perks. And you're going to get to your diamond archetype. And you see all the XP little droplets right here. It's substantial. It's a fuck ton, if you will. That's a lot of XP. And if you look at my team, that's how I was able to get those face of the franchise players. So let's go into Road to the Show. And let's explain how. Grind this out. Because we did it on stream last night. I played Road to the Show for maybe three and a half hours maybe and we're already on to the gold archetype which is really damn good so we're in AAA at this point this is very important when talking about xp the xp video we made yesterday about the quick pitch that is very good the xp earnings is about the same 20k an hour Road to the show, you're also going to earn about 20k an hour. The problem is, but with Create a Stadium, that's really where you find a lot of the progress. Because we are not using any ordinary stadium. We have Blank Canvas, which you can look up in the Stadium Vault. Just look at my PSN Gomes to Legend. And it is the highest altitude. There is two foot walls. These walls make Jose Altuve look like a damn giant. And it's the minimum distance, 270 to the poles. So if you play on the stadium, 
you're not going to have to hit the ball very well in order to get home runs, which is going to get you a shit ton of XP. In talking of what uh, difficulty I've been playing on Veteran, I think this is perfect. You get a good chunk of XP. Honestly, you don't get that much more for playing on a higher difficulty. And Veteran is a great balance of you just not having to do anything, right? You, you don't have to try that hard on Veteran. They're not going to exactly give you their best pitches. So Veteran difficulty, do not do sliders. You will get a decreased amount of XP. I actually think you probably could do Rookie or Beginner and get very similar XP amounts. I've been playing with that a little bit and it's pretty comparable. It's always going to vary based on how well you are performing, so that's important to realize. Again, very important for you guys to do right there. We're going to hop into a game and show you what I'm talking about. It is very seamless. It is very laid back. We were sitting, I had gotten no sleep at that point, and I was cracking home runs. It's like the second coming of Barry Bonds, essentially. Um, you are placed into the stadium, which looks like you're in the sunken place or something. Looks pretty cool. And, you know, we didn't hit a home run right there. I, I should probably focus on my PCI a little bit, but as you guys can see, it's very easy. I'm power swinging on everything, and it is super Super laid back. All of games, I can get 900 XP in maybe three minutes. That's hitting like five home runs out of five opportunities, granted. See, we absolutely crushed that. 85, 89, respectively, already on this ball player in just like three hours. We already have that much progress. So damn good. We only earned 305 XP right there, but that wasn't even two minutes. Ah. That is not a good swing, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's still a home run. It is still a home run. You do not have to put good swings on the ball. You have to just kind of pay attention. You can easily do something, write an essay for school. You can um, cook dinner. You can watch a show. Any of those things is probably going to work. I wasn't even on the PCI. I was social distancing. So yeah, highly recommend do this ball player. You get the trifecta you kill three birds with a singular stone xp stubs and a very good player for your team early on let me know in the comment section what archetype you guys are going for contact or power what positions and how you plan on doing your loadout if you enjoyed and how you plan out on doing your loadout if you enjoyed leave a like down below subscribe if you guys are new to the channel check out the twitch streams twitch.tv slash thank you all for watching hope you guys have a great day there goes out yeet